hey guys today I am going to teach you about an unorthodox method of sharpening images uh, using a high pass filter so let me just uh, open an image I'm just gonna drag this and uh, this is the photo of my bike and we are going to sharpen it let's just brighten it first and I am going to brighten it a bit uh, maybe maybe so much maybe not that much yes I'm just doing that so you can see clearly uh, nothing to do with the filter at all and uh, now we are going to well there's two way you can approach this is first you can uh, duplicate you will have to uh, uh, use this on a layer that's not locked like the background layer so you can duplicate it and then you can convert to smart object to basically just lock it so that it cannot be directly editable then go to filter and you'll have to go to other and high pass and what high pass does it is uh, it shows around the radius it, uh, as you increase the radius it will show more of it is uh, it will just uh, show the edges in the picture all the edge that there is and actually it kind of looks beautiful if you think of this anyway uh, so we'll just keep it somewhat like this just so that you can barely see the edges uh, uh, this is okay and I'm using the scroll wheel of my mouse to move it around you just have to hover over it and use your scroll wheel and uh, it's done and now it has created a filter uh, because this was a smart object so it wasn't directly editable and now we can go to this little icon here that the filter has and just double click it and this will open up and it's the blending option for the filter that we applied and not for the whole layer itself and this will blend uh, the mode here will blend that filter to the layer itself so we are just going to put this to overlay and is there a difference is the image sharpened well uh, let's just see you can't really tell that much now can you uh, so we will just double click on high pass again and just increase its radius and there you go you can tell now that if you can't I mean I'm sure you can but let's just uh, let's just zoom in on the Ducati here and we'll it's it's definitely sharpened see and uh, well uh, you actually can do this without converting the layer to the smart object but you'll have to uh, make two layers uh, so let's just delete this we will duplicate it twice and uh, on the top layer we are going to filter and apply that high pass filter and we are done and then we will just uh, go to overlay and now it's sharpened and but if you want to hide this you'll have to hide both the layers so this is doing the sharpening as an overlay that's it um, like and subscribe and everything and uh, I mean uh, you cannot uh, use this method to sharpen an uh, image that has motion blur in it because it only uh, like sharpens the edges so if it's moved if it's if it's like moved a bit and the camera shaken or something then it won't work it will only work on gaussian blur and even not that much so you know it's it's good if your image is it just needs a bit of that uh, extra spark to it but if you really want to um like if uh, an image is really blurred then you, I, I would suggest that you go to filter and use those um, sharpen options mostly the smart sharpen and uh, the um, shake reduction options uh, basically I use uh, I always use those so they are really good tools mm, thank you for watching uh, like and subscribe and uh, a lot more tutorials will be coming your way